I'm full of admiration for the work that Sinha has done. In fact, as I said before, if it weren't for his work, I think we would have long since um, disappeared into obscurity. Well, surely I should say how very privileged I am to be coupled with Sinha Yabanaka and that um, <clears throat> this is a uh, wonderful, someone of my age, to find that you're suddenly thought to have done something useful during, during <laughs> it, uh, when thanks to Sinia's wonderful work. So it's a, it's a great pleasure for me to be in some way coupled with him. I first met John in Japan, I, I think it was uh, about 10, 10 years ago. We had a, a conference in, uh, I believe, in uh, Tokyo area. Uh, since since then, he's been inspiring me a lot. You know, it's kind of a, uh, a repeat of what I mentioned. But he is an active scientist still. So that's what I really uh, respect. Well, so you. I want to be like him. Uh, Twenty some years later. <laughs> uh, with hair too, of course. <laughs> In my experience, the whole of my life, I've never seen such a, an enormous impact of one discovery as with Shinya's IPS work, a kind of tidal wave of activity. And every country I go to, they're starting up more uh, institutes of stem cell work, uh, really all attributable to Shinya's work. And uh, this is true in, <coughs> in Britain too, a large amount of activity. I think the difference may be that not only has been this huge impact of IPS, but it's likely to last. 